Set. Hey guys, Vincent here for Slash Gear. I've got the Telenav shotgun. I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough. Um, first thing you notice is it's a pretty small device. Um, and the second you'll notice is the blinking blue light. I just want to point that out that it's very annoying at night, but don't worry, uh, Telenav is on it. Um, you'll see that we are now connected to Telenav service and we're plugged in so it's charging. Um, you get the same basic layout that you are accustomed to if you're a Telenav user. Drive to, you get my favorite, recent place address, blah blah blah, whatnot. You can, uh, if you already have places programmed in, um, you can come here and take a look at where you want to go. And recent places where I've been, uh, you type in your address where you want to go. Same with intersection, businesses, city, and airport. So let's say I want to run to the airport. I can just type in PHX. Oops. And it'll say, you know, Phoenix Sky Harbor. If I want to do that, I can just hit go or view map. Or if I wanted to, I can really save that location. So let's go back a few steps here. You can also search. Um, I like to feature search for gas price, regular, near me. I bet just can be around 229 ish for the lowest. Yep, 229 at Costco or Sam, uh, 230. Um, if you don't, if you're not part of any of those two, you can either pick 7-Eleven for a little couple of pennies higher. Um, Wi-Fi is another cool thing. Let's go to extra. Let's see here. Is that right? Extra or is it search? Search other. And then if I need a Wi-Fi hotspot, search one near me. Most likely around here is going to be like a hotel or something. Yep, Double Tree, Hampton, and whatnot. Let's go back here. Um, maps and traffic. This is the map, what it looks like. You can do show traffic. Um, you can basically create a new map if you want to. In this case, we don't need to. Um, some extra stuff. You can record your current location, use compass. Um, you know, if you're not connected there, you can. You can basically drive from where you want to go, which we already did show you earlier. You can look at recent places, um, volume control. The problem with volume control is I found that if I'm in navigation mode and I want to change the volume, I have to exit out and that's something I'm definitely not happy with. Um, preferences, you can use 2D or 3D, pretty standard for Telenav. Route style uh, type, I can, you know, I usually have it tell, ask me, you know, how I want to do it just because depending on if I'm, you know, what time of the day it is and whatnot. Um, basic configuration stuff. Backlight, I leave it on power save. That was loud. So anyways, um, and brightness. And then, let's see here, traffic alert, I usually just enable it. One thing I want to talk about is the traffic alert. It's not proactive, so if you're not going anywhere specific or if you're not in navigation mode, um, it's not proactive in giving you um, heads up that, hey, there's an accident or you know there's congestion or anything like that. So that's something that I want to definitely um, suggest or give feedback to tell now for future upgrade. Um, calibrate, oh, I guess we gotta set that up. I did that earlier, but since we're in here, there you go. And then color the map, I usually have it auto, day or night. Um, what else? That's it for that. We did everything else. Preference, pretty much, you know, we did that earlier. So that's it for this really brief walkthrough. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to take you for a quick, quick drive. So we're pretty near the airport. Let's type in airport again. And... I don't want to search for it again in the future, so what I'll do is I'll just hit save. Save. And I'm good. And now... So basically it starts off with select traffic optimized routing style. I'll, I'll, I'm fine with that. So let's do that. 
and it's getting traffic. Let's go for a quick drive. Based on traffic, go point six miles and turn left to North Forty Fourth Street. I'm not gonna listen to her. I'm gonna turn right because I know this this area pretty well, and I'm gonna see how she reacts to my being disobeying her orders. So as you can see, she's a little bit slow in redirecting me, which is really odd. Oh wait, she thought that we were getting out, right? Earlier, okay, so that's right. So now we're heading, to, that was 48th, we're going to 44th. Go point four miles and Turn left to North 44th Street. Can you pick up that blue blinking light? That's definitely something that can really have an effect on your driving at night. During the day isn't so bad, but at night it's it's really, you can really see the difference. Turn left to so North 44th Street. So here we are, 44th, 44th Street. You can show the map. That the built in. See how the difference look. And of course, you know, I can zoom in. That's the max. Zoom out. See more of the city. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Zoom in a little bit. And then, of course, you can kind of pan around if you want. What's interesting is if I started driving, I hope she would bring me back to where I'm at. Oh yeah, she did, huh? Right there, that's our current location. All right, it's time for us to go. So airport's just right ahead. Miles and turn flight right to exit. So we're about and then bear left to exit. So we're Go about point four miles six minutes away. Turn flight right to exit. Two and then bear left to exit. Two. So we're here almost, and let's say I'm. I want to end my trip and I want to go somewhere else. Can do that. Hit OK. Drive to. Let's say I want to go back to Sean's place. I just do that and I hit go. And it's, let's take the shortest route. And she's going to optimize for me. And she's going to wrap me around. Turn flight right to exit. Two and then air right to exit. Two. Exit two. Oh, this guy's being a total jerk, huh? So now she's gonna route me back to Sean's place. I just figured that I forgot something at home and we're at Sean's place and I need to go back pretty quickly. I'm about three and a half Air miles away. Two. Exit two. Now I'm back into the airport surface road and she's going to help me maneuver out of here if I'm turn say, left new. to south 42nd street and then turn left. See and this is what throws me off is you know show It'll get Go point three thrown off a little bit. Turn flight right to terminal four. All right, so terminal four is ahead. Turn flight right to terminal four. And this is what really challenges me is, you know, I have more than one area to get into. You know, do I go up? Do I go down? Um, I'm afraid that if I, as soon as I enter 
this parking structure down here, I'm going to lose GPS signal. So let's give it a shot and see what happens. Okay, so I'm entering Terminal 4. Go point four miles and bear right to Terminal 4. And then bear right. Really odd because I'm already here in Terminal 4. So let's see what happens. This is getting kind of confusing because I'm going to be exiting Terminal 4, but I don't know which bearing right she means for me to go, so we're going to see here how this works. If I get off track, I'm pretty sure she's going to let me know. So there's 24th Street downtown. Bear right to terminal four. See? And then bear right. Yeah, that's interesting. So I'm gonna just take this terminal four again and see what happens. And then there's an east exit. I'm assuming there's a lot of assumption here. Terminal four and east exit. No clue what's going on here. So I'm going to take east exit and see what happens. So this is, you know, the, the typical things that a user would go through when they're using a GPS. And so now, as you can see, she's trying to figure out getting a new route because she's kind of lost a little bit. And for the next 30 seconds, you're going to be driving blind. Um, so this is some of the issues that most personal navigation devices are going to experience. Um, especially if you're using it on your Blackberry or your iPhone or whatnot. Um, actually not the iPhone because it doesn't have turn by turn, but most likely Blackberry or a, a Motorola Q or a Sprint phone of some sort. So she's figuring out, it took about 40 seconds. She just figured out where we need to go next. Highway 153 North. I don't see 153 North, so that, uh, Go okay. 0.5 miles and turn right left to Highway 153 I North. See, I, I don't know. This is a problem because I don't see 153 North. I see 44th Street. Distance about right. Turn right left to Highway 153 North. Alright, so... So for the heck of it, I'm just going to take 44 North because it seems like it's the right logical distance right now. So right there is an example of how this so example could be Continue to highway a problem if you're new to the area. Continue to highway 153. Okay. I don't know why she gave us the wrong highway, but we're about three minutes from your place. What would be nice also would be like speed, Go how, how fast I could be going. Um, there's a lot of space here for that type of information. Okay, so Van Buren's coming up, which is exactly where we need to go. So anyways, you guys get the idea. Thanks for watching this uh, live demo of uh, the Telenav shotgun. Thanks a lot.